Hi there, this is Trail Rider 570. Today, doing something a little different. I'm getting ready for summer, and the weather hasn't been really good for riding. It's actually quite cold. You see, I got a coat on. And so, we'll be working on this. And I don't know how many people know how to really properly set up the mower deck, as in these anti stuff wheels here. I'm going to show you in this video the proper way. I actually got the deck height set right now. The deck height is set right now. So now we have to go through and we got to have about a half inch clearance or so on each wheel. So we got to adjust the wheels. And a lot of people just use these things, don't adjust them. Uh, they're anti scalp wheels, what they are. So if you go over a bump, your blades don't cut into the grass and get bare spots that's what they're designed for so we're going to set them up the center wheel is non-adjustable uh, so we're, this, this, this is the four outer wheel so we're going to get to that in a few minutes so I'll see you in a few Okay, I'm back at you. Uh, what you're going to need, I have an impact here, uh, a 14 millimeter socket, shallow or deep well, a tape measure, and as well as a 14 millimeter wrench. And these are the three, these are the tools, the only tools you're going to need to do this. And the idea of doing this is like I say, so it doesn't, you, you don't get the the, they're anti-scalp wheels is what they are. So you don't get the mower blades chewing into your yard and tearing up your grass. These will these will help delay it. And um, I got mine set where I want to run it. I'm gonna run it about three and a half inches high, only because of uh, my yard is not the smoothest. So we're gonna run it. I'm gonna cut it this year at about three and a half inches high with this. So we'll go ahead and we adjust these wheels. Now bear in mind, if you run lower than three and a half inches, you're going to have to uh, adjust them as well. You want about a half inch when it's all said and done. You want to be on a, a good smooth level surface, which I'm in my garage, so I'm going to go by that. So, and so that being said, let's get going here. Okay, what we're going to do here. I'm going to take the first wheel off, put a wrench on the back side to hold the, hold the nut, put your this on the front, and pull it and take let the wheel come off. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go down, see there, there's just about a half inch. If you look, I'm going to kind of do this so you guys can see. See, there's just about a finger's width underneath there. That's 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 all I can do. So I ended up going down. Uh, I was here. Now I'm going down to this hole in the front. So then we'll put the wheel back on. Get her started here. Yeah, it's going in now. Make sure it, it rotates. Now you see, see there, I lowered the wheel down for, for the height of mine. Now we're going to go ahead and do the next one. You can see, I got about two fingers width here. We're going to drop this one down as well. And you see what we got here? The back's going to be slightly different. So now, because of the, the rake of the blade, I'm going to have to go down. I'm going to go all the way on the back.
make sure it rotates. See now, I lowered it down. I'm slightly over a half inch, I'm a half inch here. So we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. We'll go around. We're gonna do the same thing. And once you do this, you're pretty much all set. Because people will use these, they never adjust these, they leave them up. And uh, this one here was going to set about the same as the other side is, which it does. Because you got to bear in mind these blades, they don't, when they're lifted, they don't, they don't set. When they're hanging, I should say, they sit with the front end low and the back high. That's how they're adjusted. Just like that. Then next, we'll go to the last one. And he's going to go, as like I said, we're going to put him all the way down. I brought a tape measure, but I'm my I pretty much know my I've done stuff this so, so long that this I use my fingers to, to measure. Okay, I'm gonna drop that blade all the way down. And we'll tighten it up. See how this one actually is kind of binding. And I know it's a new, 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 new mower. We don't want it to... See now, it's getting easier. There it went. Just had a burr in it or something. See now I got about the same distance the other side. And that's basically all there is. Uh, now the, the deck is set up. I got, I'm running about three and a half inches high on my gauge, which is right here. It's set at about three and a half. So that being said, that's all there is to it. It took me a whole whopping five minutes to adjust it. Just the anti-scalp wheels, as they're called. But trying not to be in guys' face too much. I've got a handful of tools. I got a habit of carrying tools before I sign off. But that is the quick and nitty gritty way of adjusting your mower deck. And uh, like I say, it's all adjusted. The deck's at the height I want to be. You can see the wheels. They almost look like they're identical. You look at them. We go around the other side. You can see that one there, see the gap, see the front gap. Now they're good. Obviously, if you go all the way down, the blade, the wheels are going to hit. You'll see them. They'll hit, but see the height you got here? Right here? So the deck won't touch the ground either. And if we was to go in there and measure, we're probably pretty close to two and a half inches in diameter, believe it or not. So that's all there is to adjusting them. Then we just go ahead and raise them up to normal. But I know this is not the trail riding UTV stuff, but it's the time of year it is. Uh, it's like 28 degrees outside. There's no snow, but it's blowing cold. It's cold in here where I'm standing. So I personally don't like to ride in weather like that. I know you guys like, like to see the ride videos, the how-to videos. Those will start up pretty soon when the riding season gets here, you know, good and heavy. Uh, we only got a couple more weeks and then we'll start doing the rides again. So that being said, this is Trail Rider 570. Wishing everybody a great, a great day and goodbye and God bless for now. And I'll see you on hopefully on my next ride. I wanted to get something out there. I got this. I was ordered a bearing kit for it to put in the wheels. And uh, guess what? Uh, it's gonna it happen. But right here's the bearings. They don't fit. So, but I'll make you some and do it for something. So that being said, I'm out of here. This is a quick, quick video on how to set your deck up. I could sit here and spend 20 minutes 
just talking to you about the importance of doing it. You know, obviously you're adjusting it so it doesn't. You don't get the uh, the, the the scalping in your yard if you go over little bumps. The wheels will, will ride over, and it take the blades won't hit the ground. So that's the idea of it. So anyway, I'm rambling on. I will see you in my next video. Goodbye and God bless. And if you're new to my channel, if you can, it helps me out a lot. Like, ring the bell, click, click all, and or subscribe, I should say. And uh, leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down. I don't care. Either way, they work. And uh, I'll see you on my next, next ride, hopefully. Bye-bye for now.